Hello everyone, so we are happy to announce our new playlist for the AWS Data Engineer role. In this particular playlist, we are going to cover all the services which is required to crack any AWS Data Engineer role. We are going to cover each and every services from a basic to the advanced level. So if you are preparing for the AWS Data Engineer role, you can refer this particular playlist. Or if you want to enhance your knowledge, you can also refer this particular playlist. Each and every services we are going to cover by doing a practical we are going to do a multiple project around that so that you can also put that in your resume and it will be helpful for you to crack any interview okay so first let us try to understand what kind of the job requirement generally company asks what are the services which is required to crack a AWS data engineer okay so let me open nokri.com so I have opened nokri.com if you will see this is one of the job requirement I have in this job requirement if you will see we are going to see only the services so if you will see roles and the responsibility they are asking for the AWS services like AWS glue they are asking for the spark they are asking for the AWS Athena they are asking for the glue they are asking for the spark they are asking for the EMR they are asking for the DynamoDB they are asking for the AWS S3 Redshift Kinesis, Lambda, Apache Spark, Databricks on AWS. So this is the most important skills also and most of the companies they will look for this all the services. Okay. If I will show you the another requirement. Here if you will see they are asking for the S3, they are asking for the Lambda, Redshift, Glue, Event Bridge, RDS, ETC, SQL is must and the Python knowledge for the data processing. If I will show you another and here also they are asking for the PySpark, S3, Redshift, Lambda, Glue and all. Okay. So if you will see in all the requirement mostly these are the services which is common. And we are going to focus more on these particular services. We are going to do multiple projects around this and we are going to cover each and everything from a, by doing a practical. So if I show you. AWS Athena. So AWS Athena is nothing but a, it is kind of the query services. So if you want to query on top of the S3, if you want to query on top of the, your data, we can generally use a AWS Athena. Okay. For the ATL services, we have a AWS Glue and that is very much in a demand. AWS Glue is also important. PySpark generally we use for the processing. EMR is nothing but a e elastic map radius. So it is kind of, it is also used for the processing okay we have a dynamo db that is our no sql db we have a for the storage we use a aws s3 that also we will try to cover red shift is also important for the data warehouse perspective kinesis is a streaming service so we will try to cover the kinesis lambda lambda computation we will try to cover spark is also the processing and all okay so for the data engineer, apart from the AWS side, what are the other things we will try to focus? Okay. But so SQL will be must. Okay. If you will appear for any interview, SQL will be must. Okay. SQL will be must. Okay. The second thing is like Python or PySpark. Python or PySpark. This will be must for any data engineer role. And the third thing will be few company ask for the visualization, but uh, few company they don't ask for the visualization. Okay, so visualization for that we can you can have a Tableau, and also in AWS also we have a service Tableau or Power BI also is fine. Okay, and the fourth thing is like all the AWS services because we are focusing on the AWS data engineer role. All the AWS services we are going to cover whatever I have mentioned on the top right. Other than also we have a computation and the RDS and all everything we will try to cover here. Okay. So, so tomorrow we'll try to post videos. Yeah. Thanks for watching.